Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you step by step how to paint this pretty wolf. So I'm working on a 16 by 20 canvas that I pre-painted with gray. You can use any gray that you want or you can work on just a regular white canvas as well. It's completely up to you. So I'm going to be using some titanium white and I've got Liquitex Basics Acrylic. I'll be using these two colors, cadmium orange hue and light blue violet. I'll also be using some yellow ochre. And I'll be using some dioxazine purple and light olive green. Okay, I'm just going to start coming in the background with a number 50 filbert brush. I'm going to get it wet. And I'm going to take some white and some of that orange. Just mix the two together like this. And I'll start applying it over the left side towards the center. I'll take my blue without even washing my brush off. I'm adding white because I know it's gonna dry a little bit darker. Acrylic paint does, and especially working on a darker canvas like this, And then we're just going to start softening down here. I'm going to use this big round stipple brush here. I'm not going to get it wet. I'm going to take my purple first, push and tap into the purple and right about here. Just start pulling across for the first layer. Make it a little bit patchy so we get some lighter and darker spots. Okay, and then I'm going to take my green without washing my brush off. Tap. Tap, tap, tap. Sometimes you can kind of pull and drag after. So you can get this moss look with pretty much any stipple uh, type of brush. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of blue and I'm going to just sort of wiggle in the suggestion of a bit of a creak here. without washing my brush off. This way I get a little bit of all those colors reflecting from above down into the water. A little bit of white, just a little wiggle. And I'm gonna use bright white up here where it's the absolute brightest. So a little bit of water and titanium white. And we're actually gonna come right up here. This is gonna be the highest mark on the back. So just a little gentle pull and flick, short little pulls and flicks. We're gonna go right off the canvas So really bright along the edge here. There we go. See, when you get that little wisp, you just need to have enough water in your brush to help that paint flow out easily. And then we're going to start pulling this way. So flick up, 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 over. And then down like this, we're going to go over the green and it's still a bit wet, but I was just going to, that'll give me some little mid-tones and make some of the fur look see-through and we're seeing that dark underneath. 
and I've actually got my brush like this. So you can switch the angle that you want to paint from and try it in different ways, see what works for you. And then I'm going to take some of this yellow ochre. A little bit of purple, some water, because you're really, really pretty color here. We're going to come around here with the face. A little bit more purple, green, a lot of dark color in here, a little bit of water. The hair's kind of kind of twisted around here and bunched together, so I'm just kind of twisting and twirling between my fingers like this. about there. and green. And then I can come back and gradually add a little bit more shadow and ease into just ease into that fur without washing my brush off. I'm going to just take a little bit of this blue and just add a little bit of this pretty blue tinge to the fur. All these little touches are what's going to make your painting special. Show you guys and demonstrate for painting for this is an even tail uh, fan brush or a wisp it's also known as so i'm going to go into my white water make sure you have water on your brush i'm going to start coming around with the shape of this beautiful wolf's face Gently dip down here because we're going to have the ear right about here. And then we're going to add our brush strokes kind of in a circular rounded direction like this. And then just little ones like this. And 
we're going to start in this direction. Light little feathery pulls. And then work our way up. Bright, bright white. Really bright back here. And as our background paint starts to dry, it'll look darker and that's gonna help this look brighter and stand out more. So we're gonna have, I'm just gonna go right into this greeny purple dark color. Grab the shape of the ear, kind of a rounded triangle like that. Take a little bit more yellow ochre, white, some water. We have a few other layers in here. And then white for behind the ear. And I'll leave a little line space between the face and the neck behind the ear here just so that we have some separation, a little bit more separation. And I'll just add a little bit more here to the ear and then we're going to go right over here so we'll go over about two inches about two inches over and add our second ear so we'll line like this and then rounded and then down so a rounded triangle like this this part's going to be lighter and this part's going to be darker so i'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of yellow ochre white to what's already in my brush work that paint out of there let that kind of mix in And take some white and add some fur. So I'm gently going to push on the bottom and then flick. And I'll be adding a little bit more after once it dries, so it'll be a little bit easier. We'll come in with this sort of caramel color here on the other side and then some more white. Come around right from the top there. Gently come over this area here. And then we've got it really, really bright. Bright, bright white here and furry. Lots of fur. Lots of fur everywhere, but we're gonna kind of come up and around the edges here. And then we're gonna start taking it over this way. Go into that white again, more water. Get 
a few of these little flicks and pulls, some little spiky looks. And right here, we're going to bring bright white right down either side below the ear. Loading my brush up with some more water again and white. So I'm using a combination of brush strokes. I'm turning my brush like this and pushing gently on the end for some thicker matted pieces of fur. And then I come back. I make those longer ones like this. They're a little bit closer together. And we're gonna come on the side here, right off the edge of the ear. And this little bit of caramel color down. Go back into that blue, a little bit of purple, a little bit of water. I don't need a little bit more on there. It's a bit too light. I love adding color wherever I can. Where others may just see brown and white or black and white. I tend to see more. I think that's just an artist's thing in general. Let me know if you guys are the same. I love color, so I love to play on it whenever and wherever I can. Coming right in here for a little bit more shadow and definition on the ear, the, those darker areas. Now I'm just using this brush because I'm being a little lazy and not wanting to switch over to another one, but you definitely should switch over to whatever you're most comfortable painting with. So maybe I would suggest a round one or a liner brush for the inside parts here. Before I do any more, I'm going to switch over to one of my filbert brushes. This is a small one. It's a number two. And I'm going to add a little bit of height to the ears now, around the ears up here. Not, I guess not really so much height, but just more of the outer part of the ear. And then maybe, yeah, just a little bit of height right here. And then a little bit of light highlights here inside. I'm just using that sort of caramel color, purple, yellow ochre, and white. Maybe there's a touch of green in there too. And I'll go ahead and add just some straight white inside. Remember, if you're painting wet on wet, like I am here, so wet paint to wet paint, uh, it can be a little bit frustrating to get it to stay there so it's kind of like oil painting you just want to apply less pressure or just take the time to dry it off and then come back into it okay so more white here do the same thing on this side
and then back to a little bit of a darker color here so I can bring this up and over a little bit and then a little bit more purple dark in this area And then I'm going to need to add just a little bit of a darker line back here for some distinction to make the ear separate, stand out separately from the back. So that's why I'm just coming in with this smoky purple color that's what I'm doing here. And then I'll come around it with a little bit of white after. Okay, I'm going to go back over to my first fan brush that I used which is my number two. And I'm gonna start applying the next layers. I make the brush strokes a little bit longer. And create this light, warm, soft light, hitting the back right there. A little bit of water on my brush. There's going to be a dark gray area right in here. Lines up with the end of that ear. Okay, so right here, leave it dark here. And then we'll start coming in with the eye and the snout or nose. I have like a little triangle right here. We're gonna have the eye in here somewhere. So I'll just use that as a guide and then paint the fur around that until we shape it in. It's important to work in this direction with the fur right here 
by the next eye. And then we can start coming down. Add a little line over like this. Down there. Pull and scoop on an angle. And we'll just scumble in over here for the shape. Reload my brush. Come under here. Curve around under the mouth. You want to leave a, a black line. Very thin separate the top from the bottom. A little bit of water. A little bit more water. Just make it really, really thin. Some more white. The eyebrow area is a little bit in shadow. So we're just going to come around here and shape it in with white. I'm going to go right back over to leave that for now and go back over to my number two brush and I'm going to take purple and paint in the nose. So I'm going to go up on an angle like that and then down like this. And then dark underneath. What I do need to do, I can see what I need to do here, is bring this down lower. This needs to be wider, the top from the bottom uh, lip. I'll just cover it up here. Pull that around. And then under here, we're going to add that paw. like this, a little slight arch, and then an arch up like this, down, and 
We're going to scumble out the remainder of paint, work it out from the top here where it's going to be the brightest, and then it's going to ease off. It'll ease off down here into the grass and the moss, and that'll be like a shadow. And we can create even more of a shadow by coming in with some purple. A little bit more to make it a bit darker. And then I'm also going to use a little bit of blue here. And just tap, tap, tap on the ridge of the nose. Soften the paint with my finger. A little bit of white. A little blue and purple around here. add some more white right in here. More white. See all the different brushes you can use. We'll make these scoops here that come out kind of on an angle from the eye. And then yeah, it's a little bit in shadow there. So I'll, I guess I'll play up on the shadows with a little bit of, a little bit of purple, green, yellow ochre, maybe a bit of blue. So the expression, the eyebrows kind of raised up a little bit and. Wolf's kind of looking over here, so paint a triangle like this. It goes up a little higher on an on an angle right in here. And then a little bit yellow ochre purple right in there. up in here as well a little bit in there this just gives warms it up a little bit some light Clean my brush off and get all that, any white base out of there. I'm going to go back over to my green and purple, make my darkest color. And go up on an angle like this. Scoop down. a little bit more purple. A little bit down there. We're going to need two 
three, four little claws that come out here. It's a little dab of yellow ochre and white inside some purple. And then a little bit of white with those same colors. Rinse my brush off and add a little bit of green under here. Sorry if I'm hopping all over the place, guys. I go with what's calling me at the moment as I'm painting and right now I feel like I want to come in and add a little bit more moss while this is kind of drying and setting. So I've got a one inch oval mop brush. This is by Princeton. The blue handle ones, they're Princeton. So these are great, great brushes to, to paint with. They're magical little foliage brushes. You can do so much with these. So I really encourage you guys to Get these, they're awesome. I got mine, um, you can get them at Michael's and on Amazon. I'm gonna take a little bit of white. A few brighter highlights here. Okay, back over to my uh, little filbert brush here, my mini one. Just add a slight little arch right here, just to give the nose a little bit more shape and highlight. So I'm just going to take my brush the underneath side and just tap, tap, tap. Then just turn it over like this, a little bit more of the blue, and we'll add some shadows in here. Tap, tap, tap. It should be really, really dark down here. So I'm going to come back in with some green and some purple. Go around these little claws again. These, you don't have to try too hard. Then I'm going to take some white, a little bit of yellow ochre for this wolf's eye. Let's get a little bit more there. You can paint your wolf's eye any color that you want. And it's just going to be little filling in right there and a little black back over to the white
And we'll add some more hair in here. Remember that triangle shape that we did in the beginning? We're just gonna go over that and add, add more hair just to make it brighter. And on the nose right there as well. And here. And then those kind of scruffy little more matted together little chunks of fur around his eye. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this tutorial and would like to see more animals. I've got an animal playlist. So if that's something that you guys are enjoying and liking, it really helps me if you leave a comment below and let me know. Yeah. Take a little bit of blue, purple. Little on an angle like that. A little bit more shadow right here. And then the white. We even have a little bit of yellow oak in there. My yellow ochre and the white will make, when you add the two together, you'll get a really, really nice, soft, creamy color, and it'll just really balance out the cool whites. So you'll have a nice warm white and a cool white, and having both can be really effective in a painting, having both temperatures. Just coming in with those layers. Scoop on an angle. And then wiggle out the little hairs, the hairs going in this direction. There's so many different ways to approach painting fur. So I hope I'm going over <laughs> a lot of them today for you guys. Okay, a little bit of yellow ochre here. I'll warm this little area up. Purple, white, yellow ochre makes almost like the perfect color that I need for the shadow parts. Gonna come around here with white, yellow ochre and just soften this. Then I'm gonna take purple, scoop over.
I go into my white, just reshape this. yellow ochre, a little bit of green. And then a little bit of white and green on the bottom part. little dab of black right there and I'll take a little bit of blue and add a little bit more shadow in here for the line that comes out there for some shadow. I'm going to go back over to my Wisp Even Tail brush. Water and white. ochre in with that white. Add a little bit over here and over the top. little hints of colors that we take the time to add that like I mentioned before if you're just tuning in they're gonna make your paintings special take a little bit of yellow ochre with my green and some white Add a few little, little doodads here. Little things going on. bits of hair and then just soften
And as I add the final details to this painting, I want to thank you guys so, so much for taking the time to join me today for this. I hope that you learned a lot and get inspired to paint a wolf, a gentle wolf yourself like this one. And please subscribe to my channel for more. And I'll see you all next time in another video. Thanks again, everybody. Take care. Bye.